Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. Last time we finished the Undyne boss fight, and now we're just moving on. Now it is kind of early in the morning, so I may end up being- so I am a little bit tired while I'm recording this, but I have nothing better to do, so might as well do this. Ah! And here is the river person. Uh, basically your transport system for this game, as uh, they can take you back to previous areas. I mean, once you obtain this, you basically don't have to worry about um, buying healing items from the later shops anymore. Uh, in the pacifist run, at the very least, because now you can just go back to Snowden and buy more bicycles, which is the best healing item in the game on the pacifist run because you can use it twice. Okay, and then and I don't buy any of these. I guess I'll buy that. It says invincible longer, so might as well might as well take that because that that could be kind of useful. I don't think you can find the notebook anywhere in the maps, and I start going the wrong way. Uh, part of this episode, at the very least, is going to be me for struggling to remember how exactly to get to Undyne's house. This is definitely not the way. Um, now, because I'm a dumbass, I don't realize that it's actually over to my left. Um, no, not down there. Yeah, now anyone who watched the last couple of parts will probably remember that it, it's up to, it's that door to the to the farthest left up there and yet I'm an idiot and don't remember that or no I think I do remember never mind are you ready to hang out with Undyne I have a plan to make you two great friends yeah let's do it okay stand behind me Just make sure to give her this she loves these Hell is that like the fucking dog treat? Also, that door seems really impractical. Like, I don't know. Just, it looks very show. It looks very visually impressive, but it's like that door doesn't look like it would be very good, actually. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. She has an entire drawer full of them. What are those? Are those dog treats? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. And he does it through the window. Because, you know, fuck personal property. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If I you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now! You're the enemy of everyone's host and true- Jesus Christ, why are you so mean? I did literally nothing to you. I've done nothing to you. Like- Jesus, you, I, now, I know that it would be a little much to ask to ask Toby to change the dialogue every time you, uh, like, depending on the route you choose, but still, for every character, but it's still a little mean. Uh, Unknown's dialogue is still a little bit overly harsh, especially if you haven't done any, if you've been, if you've been playing the game completely pacifistically and not killed anything, which is what I've been doing. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to eight, ten times their size. You liar! I've read Alvis' human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords, your colossal alien fighting robots, your supernatural princesses. Heh, <laughs> there's no way you're gonna fool me. A alien fighting robots? Huh. I don't watch a whole lot of anime, so I don't know if those are actual references or if the game's just making shit up. 
They all sound like they could very well be, uh, actual anime references. No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. Oh, I'm dying. I'm sick as a teacup in the shape of a fish. Something is some of the top line MT MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, and nunchucks. I hate cold food. So Office heats up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! That that's what the fridge is supposed to do, keep food cold. Now something interesting is that unlike the papyrus hangout, you cannot do this hangout on a neutral. If you have killed a single enemy so far, you are not able to do this hangout. And if you don't give Undyne the cup of water, you aren't able to do this hangout either. Which is I found out the hard way when I, my brother and I tried to do a do a pacifist run. Uh But Now, interestingly, if you if you've been playing pacifist up to Jesus Christ! Hey! Don't get up! You are the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the sphere. Oh, yeah, you can pick whatever you want here. I would glad you give me your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved husband. Jesus Christ! She still wants to murder me! No! Okay. Are you cheating on me? Maybe. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of people who think she's attractive. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar! What do I look like, the ice cream woman? <laughs> the human ice cream woman terrorize humanity with energy spheres? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Sure. <laughs> what? Really? That rules! Okay. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Probably does it? Does it rot my fighting spirit? Does it mean I can't play Super Godzilla as well? Wait, wait. I just remember. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. What do you mean? How hard is it to get hot chocolate? Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Oh. You just take the mixture, you heat it, you put some milk, you put it in milk and, or water, and you heat it up. Hell, I can't cook anything, and I can manage to make that. Whatever. We're having tea, because it, it literally won't let you pick anything else. Because this game is not about free choice, if you haven't realized yet. Okay, it's all done. I'm, so I, I'm sorry that I'm not reading a good majority of the dialogue, but just... I've been... but, uh, I don't know. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already! <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah, nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! <sighs> okay, you know what? I, I think I prefer murdering Undyne, because, uh... But yeah, you can't do this hangout uh, if it, you're playing on a new... Ch if, you're, if you've killed any enemies up to this point. Alternatively, if you do this hangout and then kill an enemy, you'll get an alternate neutral ending. Total meanies, sort of. I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on try. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone so more, more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets the trained dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Bitch, I heard what you said! <laughs> I'm sorry. This is this is slowly turning into a shit post. All the narration I do is slowly turning into a shit post. Yeah, sorry nothing really of substance happens in this part. It's basically just me doing the Undyne hangout because I wanna get wanna do it. 
I want to get it done before uh, I go on to do anything else, because otherwise I'm going to end up getting distracted, probably, and end up going off and not realizing... Oh, jeez, I didn't do this yet, and... And, uh, to get the true passive ending, which I... I did... I am aiming for, which I did eventually get, um... You have to... Do this, and you have to do the papyrus. Again. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Ugh. Oh God, here comes that cooking segment. Which uh, you do not know the amount of endless YouTube parodies of this I had to sit through in my uh, under crunch phase. Vision these vegetables is your greatest enemy. Now pound them to dust with your fist. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy! I don't know, that seemed to work with the dogs. Oh. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. For now. We are the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store bread! They're the cheapest! What are you, a broke college student? Granted, I still kind of feel like I have no, I have no say, I have no actual, um, way to say, uh, anything about the economy, considering that I, considering that I spend my money on stupid shit. And I'm not currently employed, so, I don't think I have any real say. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. And I think that was supposed to be an explosion, but whatever. We've set our house on fire. Ah, uh, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Hey, what happened to the vegetable stains on her face? <laughs> so what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? No, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Yeah, you can't. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Oh, right, that's what the notebook does. I I've never played either a new I've only ever played this game on Pacifist, so I've never played a neutral or a genocide run, so I don't know what all the weapons do. I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Oh, come on. Just like him. Listen, human. Seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, you probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure that you can persuade him to let you go home. Right, because that works out so well. Oh, and you're just going to murder some other child if they fall down here. I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Maybe that should have been priority number. <laughs> I love the face of the house now. Um, and Undyne doesn't do anything about this because apparently there's no fire department down here. Although considering this game, the fire department will probably set things on fire. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys on the next part of Let's Play Undertale. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.